Hi, this is uh, this is Ian. This is uh, another Kogi tor tutorial. Um, and this time I'm going to do kind of an experimental uh, technique I've been playing with. Um, and uh, um, we're going to use the audio analysis tool uh, to control a uh, playback head. Okay, so. Uh, this is what I normally do, get rid of my preview, get rid of my preview screen, bring up my, my, so I got my main mixer, my uh, audio analysis, and my output. So we get a clip, so clip synth, and um, I've got my player, my default player, set to uh, V002 because V002 uh, has uh, audio playback. So now we need a, a little clip here. So I'll just bring in some little Phil Collins. Now if I double click this with the default, and it'll just start playing. And I can move this around, get a little bit of a cut up going. What's even more fun is if you turn on your audio analysis. Now this is just coming through the mic right now. Comes through the mic, um, uh, but you can you can use Soundflower to direct it directly into into Kogi. Uh, Soundflower you can get uh, from Cycling Seventy Four. Uh, it's good for rerouting stuff. It's uh, very useful with um, uh, Siphon Recorder as well. So, uh, and Soundflower, I believe, is free. So, if we um, take a look at our uh, audio wave, we're getting some activity. Five and six are pretty active, so let's add analysis on our playhead. So, now it's feeding back. It's using the little, little tiny bits of sound, plus, plus, plus my voice, to affect where the playhead is. And we can change where it is by putting an in and an out point. Remember, your in points are using the, holding down the shift key and moving the mouse around. Your out point, holding down the option key and moving your mouse. The most important one here is the, is the beginning, the shift. You can get a little feedback going here. change it with So this is kind of a sp spontaneous system of feedback. Now what would be great is if this could be controlled uh, with a sequencer or automation somehow so that this point and this point uh, could change over time and then you could get a nice sort of stuttering effect through the clip. Another technique I use is just tapping the keyboard sometimes. To affect playback. And there's, of course, you can add 
some effects that are also triggered by sound, like so. So let's say we um, do a positioner, and we'll do a scale based on an audio analysis. So we'll do that here. Turn on our effect and then change this to an idea of how much we want. load some more clips in and we'll just see how, how it plays out over a series of clips. Go uh, faster or slower. Put a there, just automate this a bit. That's really interesting. Okay. too fast for it to uh, respond. So we can get a kind of a nice little system going that feeds back on itself. Let's add something like my favorite. I'm going to just use one of these. that to some more audio. Okay, this is a bit too fast, so let's uh So I hope that helps. Uh playing with uh, some of Kogi's uh, features and um, I look forward to the next release because uh, some of this might be easier to do. Okay, thanks a lot.